Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Well, I am back from a wonderful trip, still trying to catch up on rest. I went um, overseas. It's not the first time, but it was an experience that everyone should have. Um, Experiencing Africa, experiencing Nigeria. I'm sure that there are many listeners that have been there, many that live there. And so I thank you for listening. I thank you for being a part of my uh, conversations and the wisdom and knowledge that we all have to share, putting it out into the world. So last week, or two weeks ago, I should say, within the last two weeks, there was a Libra uh, moon, and then um, we had an Aries moon the beginning of um, April. Here we are, um, the beginning of May. Um, Thank God for uh, the 1st of May. Um, And that Taurian energy that we've been feeling coming in, I want to explain what the Libra moon has to do with the Taurian energy and the eclipse that we experienced a little bit. I do moon classes on Thursdays. I will be starting back up this Thursday. I had taken some time off because of my traveling. But um, if you want to be a part of that, then um, contact me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Also, subscribe on YouTube or on my Facebook page at Kim Warner on Instagram at Interfaith Wealth Builders and become a part of the community of inner wealth building um, individuals looking within. And so the Libra moon, I think oftentimes when you talk about Libra, uh, most people will know that it is significant for justice. But before you can get justice out of a Libra energy, you're going to have to find where there is an imbalance in your life, in your spirit, um, in your profession, whatever you're doing in order to bring justice. Oftentimes when we think of justice, we think of someone uh, coming into a courtroom and the judge is bringing a justified answer concerning a situation that needs mediation, right? I don't think we always have to get to that place if we understand the energy of Libra, of the Libra energy within us. That means that I began to look at myself, take accountability, start making better choices. The next thing is, is as we move into the Taurian energy and we're taking stock and we're taking responsibility, we become accountable to our own creations, Libra, justice. We find that we have our own justification because we have to work out our own uh, soul salvation. You see, um, and so here we come into this eclipse energy and the month of Taurian energy. And the Taurian energy actually started around the 22nd, I believe, or the 23rd of April. Taurian energy is about the cow. Um, you have the cow, the bull. And so it is a Venus energy and it's about love. And so here that moon was bringing a balance with Libra, which is also Venus energy. And so here we have Venusian energy even the more and the eclipse in the Venusian energy. And so with us coming into a month of Venusian energy, we either are in a place where we're balancing out what we feel about life, the choices that we've made. And as we do that, we can begin to set up um, the spiritual continuity of receiving blessings because we're releasing some things that are not productive in the imbalance and in the injustice of the Libra moon there was a letting go so when you let go of something something can now come to you that is new it can be changed it can be transformed here we have again Victorian energy that is a Libran form, but it has to do with um, the earth, the agriculture, land, farming. It has to do with um, 
cows. It has to do with um, produce, um, material. Uh, people want to buy. People, they want to have things that they want to have. Now, even in this energy, just because we feel it, it does not mean that we're in the authority to just lose it, just spin, just do whatever we want to because we feel the energy. You see, <clears throat> the idea of all of this is to understand ourselves so that we can bring justice within our lives, that Libra energy, to bring justice and responsibility and accountability so that we're not compulsive, you know, so that we're not impulsive so that we know that there is a discipline to everything that we do. Here you can see that there is um, the tie-in of psychology, the tie-in of astrology and religion because the cow is significant for the cow in the Bible and other uh, religions, right? India, they are very, very kind to the cow. The cow has been a sacred animal for centuries. It's not that it's worshipped, but it was known to be sacred for reasons. And that reason really goes back into Egyptian understanding because there was a goddess called Hathar that is connected to what we are experiencing right now in the Venusian energy of the cow, of the Taurian energy and her name was Hathar and so Hathar was a goddess of fertility and so when you think of fertility you still going back and you're looking at what you can produce and so what happens in this energy if anyone catches this information what they're going to get out of the information is is that justice in our lives is significant to us releasing old things so that we can move further move forward to progress in life if i hold on to old things um if i'm angry if i'm bitter you know if i'm depressed then what's going to happen uh to the good that the universe has set up for me god has set up for me god has set up for me however you worship what's going to happen to all of my good um it won't show up until we release what is not conducive to produce and here we have the step in to the Taurian energy so the universe life is always cycling the blessing it's us stepping into the order of the blessing because as we look at today Taurian energy the embrace of the Taurian energy and I spoke of the goddess Hathar it is saying to us some things you have to leave in the past in order to move into the future because Uranus is sitting in the house of uh, the Taurian energy. And so Uranus is futuristic. But Hathar, that energy, that goddess is saying, as you take on this energy, what you're doing is fulfilling the love within yourself that you can give to others and communities. But first you have to give it to yourself. And that statement of love is acquired through you and your God, through you and your goddess. You can go to Deuteronomy 5 and read because Moses had a relationship first. And it's important for us to look at things, not in a fixed manner, in a open-minded manner so that the universe, our God and our goddesses, however we worship, because there's so many people out there listening you don't want to give people the idea that there's only one way. We've had that idea. I know that many people will be upset to hear, you know, this being revealed, but it's true. There are many ways because as you grow spiritually, there's going to be other doors that you have to go through. The consciousness, it changes, it shifts, it broadens. And as you experience the shift, then you see prosperity coming in. You also feel better. It's not just about money and all of those things, but you feel better as you feel better and you can hold feeling good as an individual without anyone interrupting it. Hathar 
the cow in this time, you will become a magnet for blessings because you're holding the energy of love. Justice comes in to justify you, but you must do the work. Libra, balance. Balance is, okay, that happened, but it was part of my journey. Now, what does my journey hold for me even more? Further up the road. And do tell what your journey is giving you, because if it's not giving you what you want, then you have to change your creation tactics and strategies. So I wanted to come in and talk about that because I woke up talking to myself about letting go, letting go. So we're all in this. Why are we letting go? Because there's more to life. What didn't work last year and two years ago, it wasn't supposed to. You got what you got out of it. Now your justice is you moving forward, releasing that, your justice, your balance, Libra, moving forward so that you can receive what the Taurian energy has and open your mind to understand that the, the calf was not um, supposed to be perceived the way that we were told. The calf was not worshipped. It was not perceive the way that we were told. The calf is actually um, an expensive meat that people eat when it grows up to become a cow. If you can't look at the cow and understand what it's bringing and even that there's a heavenly um, connection with cow and the universe, heavenly, Torian energy, If we cannot look at that to understand it, this is where we're falling short with knowledge. My people, they suffer because they lack knowledge. The missing pieces of a lot of people's prosperity has to do with them not knowing the order of energy or how the cow is going to work in their life on a spiritual level. It's not worshiping the cow again. I mean, when you look at what I'm saying, you have a lot of contradiction that people are teaching because they're learning from others. But when you let go of what you learn from others because God required you to, you may have had a nervous breakdown. Mentally, you could not respond to um, the teachings the way that you used to because God was calling you out to a new level so that others would be able to shift into new consciousness, then what happens is is that you begin to realize you were locked into a system and now you're breaking. The system is called um, the illusion, breaking the illusion. And so when you look at the cow, you're going to see that rich people have cows in America. I went through Texas and saw farms there were certain people that had cows on those farms. So there's uh, something of a message that I'm giving you concerning cows. Do not allow people any longer to give you their story. Experience life on the terms that you and your God has for you. Because if you don't, you will always live in imbalance. No one can bring justice, not even in a courtroom without God's intervention when the time is right. All right. Be a part of my moon class. And I thank God for everyone that listens, that shares, and that's a part of healing the wounds in our lives. Blessings.